I am Madhul Kumar. In this video, we are going to discuss how is circumradius related with sides of a triangle. I am going to derive two very important formulas. Now, these formulas are very helpful in solving many complicated questions relating circles and triangles. So, when we say circumradius, we basically mean to say that we are trying to find the radius of a circle in which we could inscribe a triangle or circle is circumscribed on a triangle. So let us assume that this is a triangle and here we have a circle of radius, let's say capital R, which circumscribes. We need to find a relation of this radius, capital R, with a relation of radius capital R with the sides of the triangle. Now, for that, let's do a bit of construction here. Let us assume that we have center O here. So we'll join center O with the two vertices of a triangle. Let the triangle be ABC. So side opposite to A will refer to as lowercase a right now let us say that i drop a perpendicular from the center to bc now since these are the two radii of a circle they are same correct and therefore we'll have the same angles also here correct and we have 90 degrees so these are common side so these are actually congruent triangles correct so in that case the length here let's call this point as a d right so in that case we know bd will be equals to dc and both will be equal to half of a correct now let us say the angle here is theta. Let me use a different color here. If this angle is theta, the total angle at the center will be 2 theta. So the smaller angle will be also theta. Correct? These two will also be theta each. Because the center angle will be twice that angle. Right? So now we have a right triangle. So if you look into the triangle, which is B, D, O, in this particular triangle, what is sine theta equals to? Well, sine theta is opposite side over hypotenuse. The opposite side is B, D, and the hypotenuse is O, B. So from here, you can see that sine theta is basically equal to b to d is half times a and OB is a capital R, the circumradius, right? So from here, we get a relation between circumradius and the side length, correct? So if I cross multiply, I get radius is equal to a by 2 sine theta. Correct? So that becomes a relation between the radius, the side and the angle opposite, like a sine law, right? So if you want to relate it to sine law situation, you could actually write this formula as 2r equals to a over sine a because this angle theta is actually the angle a right so that is how we can actually relate circum radius with angles and sides of a triangle that's a very important formula now let's also derive another formula where uh, we will relate the side lengths with the circum radius so for that I have a triangle here 
and we'll take this triangle as uh, let's say triangle ABC any triangle which is circumscribed with this particular circle now let's join point B with the center of the circle right let's say this is the circle center then that becomes the diameter right Let's call this point as point D. So in that case, this length B2 circumcenter will put O, right? We'll put D here. So in that case, what we have here is OD is the diameter, right? Uh, half of the diameter. because b to d is the diameter i wrote o d half of the diameter so which is the radius r for us so we'll call this as radius r the circumradius now we need to find this radius with respect to sides a b c of a triangle now in this particular triangle let me drop a perpendicular from b to base a c let this be the perpendicular this side be this point be E and let us say that so that becomes the perpendicular now if I join points A and D in that case that is a semicircle so in semicircle we'll have a right triangle right so that becomes a right triangle perfect now we also see that these two angles they should be equal reason being that both these angles are on the same arc arc ab all right so this angle angle bda and angle BCA both are on this arc so we have that angle BDA is equal to angle BCE and that is 90 degrees so we know angle BAD is equal to angle BEC both of them are 90 degrees. So from this, we can say that the triangle BAD is similar to the triangle BEC, correct? AA property, right? So from AA property. Is that clear? So these two triangles are similar. Now once this big triangle and that small triangle, we show that they are similar. In that case, we can now say that the sides are in fixed ratio, right? So, so what we have here is B to D over B to A is basically equal to B to C over B to E, right? Now, B to C is side opposite to A. I'll call this as lowercase a right so this side I'll call as a and this I'll call as height h is it okay so we could write b to c as a b to e as h now b d b to d is two times r and b to a this side is opposite c so we'll name this as c is it okay so this will be side c so we just name them as per our triangle sides. Now, this height h, we can relate with the area of the triangle, correct? So, for the triangle ABC, what is the area of triangle? ABC. The area A is half of base AC which is B times height H. So from here I can write that height is 
टू ए डिवाइडेड बाई बी इज हाइट नाउ रिप्लेसिंग दैट हाइट इन दिस फॉर्मूला वॉट डू वी गेट वी गेट टू आर ओवर सी इक्वल्स टू ए ओवर इंस्टेड ऑफ हाइट आई एम राइटिंग ट्वाइस एरिया ओवर बी करेक्ट नाउ वी कैन एक्चुअली को रिलेट रेडियस विद द एरिया ऑफ अ ट्राइंगल एंड द साइड्स ऑफ द ट्राइंगल सो इफ आई क्रॉस मल्टीप्लाई टेक सी ऑन दिस साइड दैट बी कम्स ऑन द टॉप वी गेट ए बी सी इन द न्यूमरेटर एंड दिस टू इन द डिनोमिनेटर सो वी कैन राइट आर इज इक्वल्स टू ए बी सी ओवर फोर ए इज दैट क्लियर सो वी क्रॉस मल्टीप्लाई टू आइसोलेट आर डज मेक सेंस टू यू सो आर इज ए बी सी डिवाइडेड बाय फोर ए सो इफ वी नो द एरिया ऑफ द ट्राइंगल इन दैट केस वी कैन फाइंड द वैल्यू ऑफ सर्कम सेंटर रेडियस यूजिंग दिस फॉर्म करेक्ट सो दैट इज अ वेरी गुड वे ऑफ रिलेटिंग दैम सो दैट्स द सेकेंड फॉर्मूला विच वी शुड रिमेंबर विच इज रेडियस आर इज इक्वल्स टू प्रोडक्ट ऑफ ऑल द थ्री साइड डिवाइड बाई फोर टाइम्स द एरिया so these are two very important formulas to find the circum radius when we are solving questions related to triangles and circles so i hope the derivation is absolutely clear and is easy to remember that the radius twice the radius is a over sin a that is a sin law kind of portion right twice the radius so if you know angle c it could be c over sin c in this case radius is equal to the circum radius is equal to product of all the three sides divided by 4 times the area perfect so that is how we relate them <clears throat> i hope you find them useful we'll take a few multiple choice questions based on this feel free to share my videos with your friends and if you like and subscribe to them that'll be great thanks for watching and all the best